The Frame Awards is all about recognizing spaces and products that matter. Industry professionals representing a 15-person strong jury panel discuss their favorite projects of the month, consisting of a winner and honorable mentions. If you look at the material individually, they are great. They are indeed very robust, but they are never rough. That's what I like. They have still a softness in them. They never feel, I would say, stark or approximate. You can still feel the craftsmanship in there. It's come from the South African designer who is doing a lot of, of product in, uh, in, uh, with some cork and uh, natural material, and it just works well. For me, is the, the balance between off the shelves, commercial and actually craftsmanship. A lot of people try to be um, authentic and honest, and you actually don't get it. There's breaks. We have seen them more in more places, but here everything works. And, and as well, we comment out the, the good use of biophilia. So how the plants are used in the, in the right amount. So I think it's, it's actually inspiring. From what I understand, it's a, it's a bare building, basically. I give credit for the architecture and the sustainability, and it, it, it's very well made, and I give kudos for the sustainability of the project. I, I think that they, they did a great job. The architecture is, itself is, is amazing, and as well as the constructive system, the beams and everything. Then the, all the innovation is, is, on, is on the architectural side. the right balance between an intervention in a building that is actually adding more value at the building was already hard. In terms of being innovative, I think there is nothing here that we haven't seen before. But the thing is how beside them in the middle, like a, a sculpture done with metal, is actually a, it's almost like a gallery item. So I think it's unpretentious and is for me, it works really, really nice. What made the project stand out is that it's probably the exact right balance uh, between leaving the uh, historical building speak and bringing some new parts. And knowing that it's tempting to go a bit too far in one or the other direction, I think that they really find the exact right balance. And you get some small details that are just right on point. If you look at this reflective surface, I found that they were exactly what was needed there. They are all treated with some kind of gradient or they are very reflective or a bit frosted they are very subtle and actually they are not archi architectural material they are pieces from a visual artist that they've been custom made for the project and they are just perfect so it's applied in the, in the chimney it's applied at the see-through in the in the kitchen and i cannot think about a better design touch where they are they have been applied What I really appreciate is, is how it has been engineered, how the files can be sent to be built on site, uh, which is uh, which is great from a sustainability perspective. And uh, if if you look at the trend, uh, all all these people building their own housing, which I find great, although it's a, it's a symptom of our times where it's extremely difficult economically for people to acquire uh, housing, but it's a it's a big trend. Many of these uh, people don't have the skills in carpentry uh, or construction to be able to do it by themselves. It's a highly engineered piece of architecture that can be at 80% produced and built on site uh, thanks to uh, digital files and the, the, the modern tool of production. Unfortunately, most companies who tried to produce these modular pieces of architecture so that they can be flat packed and uh, shipped around and, and built on site failed. And I think that most of them failed because of the shipping. They, they, they probably haven't optimized enough the on-site production. Aesthetically, it's really inspiring. And the pictures are really well done and definitely marketing-wise. And that this is something that we can talk later about. When you have a good product, this as well how you market it. And I think that is, yeah, it's everything done very, very nicely. They have their own logo and it's a product. It's actually something that can be marked as a product because at the end it's something to be used. Sustainability and as well honesty. So if the projects they have a, an impact in people and as well they have a story that is actually compelling. I want to see is a housing project that looks like homes and not like a oh, hotel room. 
I think that we're at the beginning at a war against plastics. But just to try to reduce them at least substantially is very, very hard because they are everywhere. Maybe I'm very old school, but I think that we are architects or designers. Uh, we are not engineers. The first goal would be to produce honest projects, sustainable projects. If, if it's innovative, that's a plus. But to me, it's not, it's not at the core 